Oh, welcome back to the show. Today's video we are checking out. Oh man, is the following the prepared citizen pack where you can put all your EDC needs in one small location. So this is definitely you can see the size of this very small pack for you to get. It is actually the name of this the prepared citizen. And for those of you who are not familiar, Max Expedition makes really cool kind of gear, army like, and so on. So I put all the EDC kind of stuff in here so you can see how good of this thing is and what kind of stuff can you stick in here. So first off, there is a compartment right in the front where you can put a few of your EDC needs right here. And in this compartment, I have decided to put in have decided to put in my EDC knife and this is where it goes in here right inside the pack so if you have a big knife that's compact you can stick it right in here you can stick other stuff like maps compass you can put your phone all kinds of stuff right in here there's two ways to access this bag one you unzip and the reason why you can unzip it is it's made for concealed carry. Now I don't have an actual concealed carry, but I do have a BB gun, so I put it in here just to show you how it actually looks like. Let's say you unzip this and you get your BB gun out. So that's a BB gun, it's not real. But I just wanted to show you that you can actually fit this in. There is a place you can you can just put it in it's not really made i'm not sure why there is no real compartment in here for it it's kind of like either loosely inside here or you can try to stick it inside this thing but it's not the best so maybe if the gun was much smaller it would work or maybe it would work you can just, just get it out right from the front in case you need to. So that's for the people who have a concealed carry and they want to get this out. And there was not much going on for this bag at all. On the top, so the bottom here, and this is the concealed carry here that you can open up from the inside. So it, it's actually strapped in. There's two double straps that strap this in. Just like this. This thing is a pain, by the way, it's open and closed. So we have right here, you unleash those two things. Now, the problem is there's too many ways and it makes it really complicated to get in, to get out. I understand that this is for people who one extent they're like reaching in your back and try to steal your stuff but at the same time if you want to get something out here's how you have to do it it is you have to unstrap those of the, those two straps then you have to unzip this whole entire thing here i'm not sure who's a genius who decided to put the zipper all the way at the top of this you have to force the ball open it all the way up and unzip it from the top and to get all the way in here too many steps to get in what you need to get in much have been faster for you to just open it up from the from the top and just reach in and get what you need out of here so this compartment or top maybe for some people it could be exactly what you're looking for is just too many steps to get what you want so the next expedition concealed carry over here i wanted to compare this to the original Maxpedition and this one is much bigger version and when it comes to both of them you can tell the difference that this is almost twice as big as the concealed carry edition and in the back the mousse material is a little bit better as well versus this one over here this one looks way cheaper the strap is not my favorite i actually think this is one of the worst straps i ever seen this strap was much more better 
in a lot of ways this is a downgrade and in another way this does look like a school backpack maybe that's what the looks they were going for you unstrap both of those things over here you open this up and you have to find the zipper this is the unfortunate thing about this if you need to get your concealed carry out you're going to be fondling and playing with this try to even to get this to open and then here is the compartment that you want to get in once you open all this up i want to show you another interesting thing here is the prepared citizen logo right in here i don't know why they put it in it's there was a lot of things that I really, dis really dislike how it's made. The oversized zippers, maybe that's the only good thing about this. And you wanted to get to the back. You have to always try to find and fundle roll out the zippers. So here is something that defeats the whole entire purpose of this. So first off, they make this concealed right here so it's harder to find the zipper and then they give you an oversized zipper i mean think about this way so you can't actually find the zipper right away which is the the whole entire reason for the this whole thing right here and then it makes it so obvious what the zipper is and you get right inside of the bag how much rack of storage is right in here the compartment is just the same compartment that goes right through both ends and so on it should be much more cheaper and this thing where you can put the patches in case you want to a nylon material like really ballistic kind of material and no it's not bulletproof it's just kind of a ballistic kind of nylon the material is exceptionally nasty like when you feel it it's like it doesn't feel good on your hands it it might look good i wanted to get the backpack i accidentally got uh this is actually a gray one it was pictured as gray it says black on it well guess what it was actually gray because of the picture not black now opening this up you get the big compartment over here and the next thing is about this this thing this thing is exceptionally small you're talking about look at the size of this thing for 70 bucks you're getting almost nothing now talking about inflation well this thing got totally inflated in terms of price expedition always is more expensive but this bag is just a joke when it comes to what you're paying it looks like a lunch bag now th the strap is just terrible the strap is even worse than anything else i've ever seen so you can put this as a sling bag and potentially if you do this you can potentially use this on both sides you can attempt anyway guess what nope nope no <laughs> nope no doesn't work uh, doesn't work I tried but this thing gets a D minus just the way it's made it is just small it is really uncomfortable the sling is just bad do not get this I mean it has its uses for EDC but in my opinion there is so much better bags out there and this one is just not it so if you're looking for some quality EDC bag from expedition this is a big red down i like the company i like what they used to make but that i hope this is not the way they're going in the future and this thing you can just put a few patches in here i i wish this wasn't here either it just looks ugly in my opinion but overall this whole entire thing is a huge fail from a great company and i hope they understand that they shouldn't make those things this should be maybe 20 bucks tops and it is just bad stay away from it don't buy in my opinion but do subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video of the show